Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm currently just working on something. It's extremely late at night. Um, but I actually didn't realize that ChatGPT had released two models today, or OpenAI, or three models even. One of them is ludicrously expensive. So this model here, ChatGPT 5.2 Pro, is $168 for 1 million output tokens. So what I thought would be fun, wow, okay, August the 31st, 2025, knowledge cutoff. They're really pushing that. What I thought would be fun is, can we build something with this, right? Because obviously, as a business, we have a bit more money to kind of use every single day. We already spend 2000 on API costs a month, maybe even 3000 So no one's going to notice another 200 bucks on top of that. And I thought what I would do is I would test it so that you don't have to waste your valuable tokens on a test that's probably going to go completely wrong anyway. So if price is indicator of quality, you would expect this model to be absolutely amazing. I'm just going to give it the exact same prompt that I gave earlier, and we'll compare the difference. This is probably going to take until 6 a.m. It's currently 3.30. Don't ask, guys. I'm obsessed with coding. I can't sleep. I can't do anything. All I do is code all day and night now. I, I just love it, honestly. So inside my school community, just click the wrong one, um, all my prompts and workflows. And then I'm just going to grab this prompt. This is the prompt I use with all AIs. The last time OpenAI released a ridiculously expensive model like this, it absolutely sucked. So just so you know, guys, you, you can do codex dash dash model GPT 5.2 Pro if you do want to use this. Again, I'm not suggesting anyone should use this. You do have to have an API key as well. You can't use the Pro. Sorry, you might be able to use the Pro, but you can't use the Plus plan. Uh, and I'm just going to dump this prompt in. Uh, I just need to... Oh, yeah, I am inside a, a new folder. So already I've spent probably like two bucks just on sending the prompt to OpenAI. I just tested this before. I said hi, and it thought for almost three minutes. So this is going to take a long, long time. So we'll be back, and we'll see if this has actually done anything in maybe like half an hour. Okay, guys. So, yeah, it did actually finish. I thought that it wouldn't finish, to be honest with you. Let's see how much we spent, first of all. Uh, let's just have a little click around. Okay, I mean, it's not terrible. These... It actually cheated, and it's the first time I've actually seen it do this. It found other projects that I've done uh, before in, in, in the past with the same prompt and stole SVGs from, from them. I've never seen any AI do that before, so I mean, that's definitely interesting. Let's see how much we spent. And also, that took about an hour and a half. And yes, I'm still awake at 5 a.m. Okay, so I mean, it's not as bad as I was expecting, to be honest with you. $48. 97 cents. Okay, that was for 42 requests. I mean, I can safely say that, um, oh, don't, don't ask about that. Uh, I can safely say this is pr probably like a waste of money. Looks pretty cool. I think obviously the SVGs kind of throw you off a bit because these are just stolen from another project. So you might be thinking like, what the hell is this? I would have loved to have seen it do it itself, but it, it for some reason, never seen this before, decided to pull things in itself it's also got weird things like here like esempio struttura url which is like if i just put this on english url example structure which is obviously a bit strange it's almost like it's not building for the public it's building for itself so we generate pages per province and city for local seo i mean yeah it's a little bit weird that it's kind of i don't know like breaking the fourth wall or third wall or whatever but uh, hasn't bothered doing this. Um, I guess it's another lazy model, um, which you wouldn't expect, to be honest with you. But I guess even with the ridiculous price, they're still losing money on this model, which is kind of hilarious, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This is definitely not worth the 50 bucks. I wouldn't bother with this model unless it's to maybe plan because it has a really, really up-to-date memory. So it might be really, really good for planning. Other than that, guys, it's probably not going to be worth your money. I will say it does look nice, the um, the design. The design looks very nice. And the fact that it goes up to August 2025 will probably make a difference for certain tasks. But yeah, for the price that it is, it's a no from me. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.